There are various types of suction used in medical and industrial settings, each serving specific purposes. Here are some common types. Continuous suction involves the consistent application of suction over an extended period. It is often used for tasks requiring ongoing removal of fluids or materials, such as in medical drainage systems or certain industrial processes. Intermittent suction is characterized by the periodic activation and deactivation of suction. This type is commonly employed in medical situations where continuous suction may cause tissue damage or discomfort, allowing for alternating periods of rest. High flow suction systems are designed to handle large volumes of air and fluids quickly. They are often used in surgical settings or emergency situations where rapid evacuation of fluids is necessary. Low flow suction systems operate at a slower rate and are suitable for applications requiring more controlled and precise removal of fluids. They are commonly used in settings like wound care or certain medical procedures. In healthcare facilities, a central vacuum system may be installed to provide suction throughout the hospital. This system allows for multiple suction points to be connected to a centralized vacuum source. Portable suction units are compact and mobile, making them ideal for use in emergency medical situations, ambulances, and home healthcare settings. NPWT involves the application of controlled negative pressure to a wound to promote healing. Suction is used to remove excess fluids and enhance the wound healing process. Dental suction systems are specifically designed for use in dental procedures. They remove saliva, blood and debris from the oral cavity to maintain a clear working environment for dental professionals. In industrial settings, various suction systems are used for tasks such as material handling, dust collection, or the removal of pollutants. Industrial suction systems may differ in design and capacity based on the specific application in industries such as oil and gas. Specialized suction systems are employed for the transfer of liquids, including crude oil, from one location to another. Understanding the specific requirements of a task or application is crucial in selecting the appropriate type of suction system. Different suction types are tailored to meet the demands of diverse industries and medical scenarios. Airway clearance. One of the primary benefits of a suction machine is its ability to clear the airways of respiratory secretions, mucus, or other fluids. This is crucial in preventing airway obstruction and maintaining effective breathing. Emergency use. Suction machines play a vital role in emergency medical situations such as cases of choking or respiratory distress. They enable prompt and efficient clearing of the airways, potentially saving lives. Surgical precision. In surgical settings, suction machines contribute to maintaining a clear field of vision for surgeons by removing blood and fluids from the surgical site. This enhances precision during procedures. Improved oxygenation. By removing impediments to airflow, Suction machines help improve oxygenation in individuals with respiratory difficulties. This is particularly important for patients who struggle with effective coughing or clearing of secretions. Dental procedures. In dentistry, suction machines are used to remove saliva, blood and debris from the oral cavity during various dental procedures, ensuring a clean and dry environment for dental professionals. Wound care. Suction devices are employed in wound care to remove excess fluids from wounds, creating a conducive environment for healing. Tissue trauma. Aggressive or improper suctioning can lead to tissue trauma, causing damage to the mucous membranes in the airways. Careful technique and appropriate suction pressure are essential to minimize this risk. Infection risk. If not properly cleaned and maintained, suction equipment can pose a risk of infection. Strict adherence to hygiene and sterilization procedures is crucial to mitigate this risk. Oxygen desaturation. Prolonged or aggressive suctioning may result in a temporary decrease in oxygen levels, especially in vulnerable individuals. 
Monitoring oxygen saturation levels is important during suction procedures. Discomfort and irritation. Suctioning may cause discomfort and irritation, particularly in conscious patients. Balancing the need for airway clearance with patient comfort is important to avoid unnecessary distress. Aspiration risk. In some cases, suctioning may carry the risk of accidental aspiration if not performed correctly. This emphasizes the importance of trained healthcare professionals conducting suction procedures. Equipment malfunction. Any mechanical device, including suction machines, may experience malfunctions. Regular maintenance and checks are necessary to ensure proper functioning and to address any issues promptly. Increased secretions. While suctioning itself does not cause an increase in secretions, aggressive or frequent suctioning may irritate the airways, leading to a temporary surge in mucus production. In summary, while suction machines provide valuable benefits in medical and emergency scenarios, their use requires careful attention to technique, maintenance, and patient considerations to minimize potential risks and optimize patient outcomes. Suctioning itself does not directly cause an increase in secretions. However, the act of suctioning can potentially lead to a temporary surge in the production of respiratory secretions due to the stimulation of the airway lining. This increase is often a reflex response to the irritation caused by the suctioning procedure. Several factors contribute to this phenomenon. Airway stimulation. The insertion of a suction catheter into the airway can stimulate the mucous membranes. This stimulation may trigger a reflex response leading to increased mucus production. Tissue irritation. Suctioning, especially if performed too aggressively or frequently, may irritate the sensitive tissues lining the airways. In response to this irritation, the body may produce more mucus as a protective mechanism. Dehydration. In some cases, suctioning can contribute to dehydration of the respiratory mucosa. Dehydrated tissues may respond by producing additional mucus to maintain mucosal hydration. It's important for healthcare professionals to balance the need for airway clearance through suctioning with the potential for irritation and increased secretions. Proper technique, appropriate suction pressure, and consideration of the patient's condition are crucial to minimize the risk of adverse effects. Routine or aggressive suctioning without clinical indication may lead to unnecessary irritation and, in turn, an increase in respiratory secretions. Healthcare providers typically follow established guidelines and protocols to determine the frequency and necessity of suctioning based on the patient's clinical condition and needs.